Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. It is so nice to have you here as always. This is my little puppy Gulliver. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Anyways, I'm going to hop right in. Um, today is going to be a softer session. This is something that I imagined that you would do maybe at the end of your day or after a, an exhausting workout <laughs> or if you just feel like stretching. There's always a, any reason you have is a good one always. So if you want to take it easy today and not sweat, not challenge yourself so much, but just find more space in your body and stretch, then this one's for you. We're going to need blocks for this one, but of course, if you don't have any, that is fine. You can always do the class, maybe grab a pillow. Um, but if you have your blocks, then I would suggest grabbing them. All right, I'm going to get the blocks and then we'll meet back on the mat. All right, so now that we have our blocks, let's begin. We're going to start in constructive rest. So you can make your way all the way down to your back. Feet can be wide apart, knees knocking together, and just go ahead and close your eyes and you can rest your hands on your stomach and chest. Let's take a few deep breaths here, just finding these few moments to ground yourself, to let go of anything that happened today and so using this time to truly arrive into the present moment. And you can do so by starting to notice all the different sounds around you, smells, temperature of the air, and feeling your body within that space. Noticing if there's any soreness, any muscle tension, any smaller sensations maybe in the tips of your fingers or just the contact between your body and the mat. And becoming more and more self-aware, let's take a few breaths here. And then you can go ahead and bring your knees into your chest, grabbing opposite hand to opposite wrist around your knees or even opposite hand to opposite elbow if that's accessible. Just making sure that the shoulder blades stay connected to the mat so you don't wanna lift your shoulders up. So keep pulling the shoulders down and at the same time, keep pulling the tailbone down towards the mat. And then with each exhale, let's squeeze the knees in a little bit closer together, a little bit tighter in towards the chest. Three more breaths here. And on your next inhale, let's straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. You can go ahead and point and flex the toes, just getting some movement going, a little stretch in the ankles, maybe roll your ankles out in one direction. And as you do so, pay attention to all the activation in the muscles down your legs. And let's switch directions. And then flex again. Let's grab the outer blades of the feet, come into happy baby, bringing the shoulders or bringing the knees down into your shoulders and separating them wide. Ankles are directly over your knees. And here you can start to rock back and forth or just stay still. You can also bend one knee a little more and then straighten the other leg completely and alternate sides. And just taking this time to move in a way that feels good for you and it's gonna look different for, for all of us. So trust that your body knows best and follow what it wants. And maybe straightening both legs together, maybe rocking, maybe staying still. Now let's bring the knees back together. We're going to drop the left foot down on the mat, cross the right ankle over the left knee, and then you can either interlace in front of the left shin or behind your left thigh. Here we're pulling the left knee towards us and pushing the right knee away. And 
Three more breaths here. And next we're going to extend the left leg so it's long but and not on the floor, almost on the floor, just a few inches off. And then right leg extends up. And at the same time, we're going to reach the fingertips towards the left toes, lifting the shoulder blades off the mat. Let's hold for five. Keep reaching. Knee to forehead. Four. Three. Two. And one, release the shoulder blades and the left leg. Right leg stays in the air. Peace fingers wrap around the right big toe. And you can gently pull that right leg towards you. If you want, the left hand can come on top of the left hip. And one more breath here. From here, let's open up the hip. Right leg opens to the right. I personally bend my elbow and then use my right elbow to block uh, my leg from going further. But you can also keep your right arm straight, whatever works best for you. And then here, try to pull the right foot closer towards the right shoulder if you can. And then making sure left leg stays long, left hip stays grounded. And now let's bring the right leg through center, either keeping it straight or bending the right knee. Left hand can either hold the right knee if the leg is bent or the outer blade of the right foot if the leg is straight. Right arm reaches out to the right and then let's come into a twist. Again, right leg can be bent or straight. And breathe. And your gaze can be either straight up to the ceiling or over your right shoulder. Now let's let go of the knee or the foot. Bend your right knee, come back through center. Now let's drop the right foot down on the mat, cross your left ankle over the right knee, and let's interlace the hands either around the right shin or behind the right thigh. Gently pulling right knee towards you and pushing the left knee away. Deep belly breaths here. And so you should feel the stretch in the outer left hip or the left glute. One more breath here. And now we're going to extend left leg up, left right leg forward, and we're going to lift the shoulder blades and reach towards the right foot and hold for five. And forehead to knee, four. Three, two, reach further, and one, exhale, release the right leg and the shoulder blade back, up, back of the head on the mat. Peace fingers of the left hand can wrap around the left big toe. If that's not accessible, of course, you can hold both hands around the left leg as well, whatever you prefer. Two more breaths, keeping that left leg engaged. So making sure you're not just pulling in the left arm. Left leg is also doing a lot of the work. And now let's open up the hip. Leg can be bent or straight. So left leg goes out to the left. Right hand keeps securing the right hip down towards the mat. Keep engaging the right leg, lengthening it. Let's take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, let's come back through center. Either the left leg is bent or straight. Right hand can hold on to the left knee or the outer blade of the left foot. And let's come into a twist. Left arm reaches out to the left. And deep belly breaths. Wherever you are, breathe into the twist, noticing the compression and release in the lower belly. And on 
On your next inhale, let's bend the left knee, come back through center. This time, both legs come into the chest. Let's straighten the legs above the head, and then maybe bring your feet behind your head into plow pose. And hands can stay on the mat. Keep lifting the hips up and away from the face. And now we're going to rock up to boat pose. So using the momentum, try to hold this position without the feet touching the floor. Maybe straighten the legs. Let's gaze up for five, four, three, two, one. Now let's rock back and forth, trying to hold a boat each time. Rock back and forth five times. And you can always bend the knees, of course. For three, two, and one. Good, hold. Let's bend the knees, place the feet down on the mat. Hands come just beside the hips, fingers point towards your feet. Let's press into the heels, lift the hips, reverse tabletop. And hold it here, actively squeezing the glutes, trying to find a stretch in the front of the thighs. You can lean your head back if that feels okay for your neck. And on your next exhale, let's slowly make our way down, bringing the hips through your legs, and then we're going to spread the legs wide, hands cross opposite hand to opposite shoulder, deep breath in, exhale to fold as much as you're comfortable with, you feel supported, inhale to come back up, exhale to fold, inhale to rise, for three, two, And one, let's hold, maybe extend your arms out to the sides. And if you want a little bit of a challenge, arms extend alongside the ears. And by a little bit of a challenge, it's quite a big challenge, so don't worry. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring the hands down on the mat, hold for another five breaths. Keep squeezing navel in, and you want to pull the hips back and up. So really trying to stick the bum out. And make sure you're not rounding your upper back, so keep opening up the chest, pulling it forward. Now on your next inhale, let's slowly rise up. Now we're going to take the block and we're going to just place it on the inside of the right leg, pointing the toes. Both hands come on either side of your right thigh. Let's lift the right leg in and then out. So over the block for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, left side, we're just gonna do it one time for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, you can move your block out of the way. Now we're going to place the right hand behind the right hip. Either your legs can stay straight or you can bend your left knee. So I'm gonna show on your inhale, we're going to push into the right hand, lift the hips, left arm reaches over your left ear. Now you can plant your left foot like I'm doing. Otherwise, if it's too much of the leg straight, you can bend your left knee. Do the same thing with a bent knee. You decide. Let's hold for three. Two strong legs, 
And one, slowly come down. Let's switch, left hand comes behind left hip. Right leg is straight or you can bend the knee. And lift the hips as high as you can. Let's hold for five. Very strong legs. Four. Three. Two. And one, slowly release. Let's cross the shins, plant the hands, come into downward facing dog. And then use these first few breaths to move around, shaking the head out, whatever feels good. And from here, we're going to step the feet a little wider than hip width distance apart, and then the right arm will reach underneath your dog for the left ankle. Once you hold it, deep breath in with a straight right arm and then exhale to bend the right elbow and look underneath the left shoulder. And in here to take weight off of your left wrist, engage your core, keep pulling the hips back and up. And on your next inhale, let's come back to down dog. And then left arm reaches underneath the body for the right ankle. Deep breath in. Exhale to bend the left elbow and twist. On your next inhale, let's come back through center. The right leg rises, three-legged dog. Let's roll out the ankle in one direction and the other. And then we're going to step the right foot between the hands. And let's walk the hands to the left, coming into Prasarita. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to fold. And on your next inhale, halfway lift. Let's walk the feet a little closer together. So it's a small or a short prasarita. And we're going to grab right hand on the left ankle. Left hand crosses over the right arm for the right ankle. Now we're holding the ankles with both hands, so that's why you need to make sure you're not having your feet too wide apart. And then we're going to bend the elbows, and there's only one direction that your upper body can twist. If your left arm is over the right, the upper body is going to twist to the right. So the right shoulder will come very close to your right thigh. And you can look underneath your left shoulder. And let's hold that for five. Breathe deeply. On your next inhale, unwind. Right arm crosses over the left. Deep breath in, exhale, bend your elbows, twist for five, four, and from here, let's unwind. Coming back to Prasarita, take a halfway lift. Inhale, reach your arms up. Come into star pose. Let's look towards the top of the mat. Step up. Left foot steps beside the right. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the right foot steps way back. And let's plant the hands. Lift your left knee into the chest. And then let's drop the left knee to the floor for three, two, and one. Now let's drop the left knee down for pigeon pose. Left knee is very close to the left wrist. Slide your right leg back. Inhale to lift the chest. Hands can be on the floor or you can bring them to the heart space or you can reach them up, you decide. Exhale, let's lower the chest down. Maybe the arms reach back, airplane wings. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to lower the chest. Inhale, exhale to lower. One more. 
exhale to lower, this time using your hands as a pillow. And we hold here, pigeon pose. On your next inhale, let's lift the chest using the help of the hands. We're going to press into the mat with the fingertips, bend the right knee, either hold it active here or right hand can reach back. And we're just going to keep facing forward, so we're not gonna open up the chest. Although if you really want to, you can, of course. <laughs> just trying to stretch the right thigh. So if you have a strap, you can also use that. And Now let's release. Looking forward, we're going to swing the right leg all the way around, so leaning into your left hip. Plant the right foot, come into standing splits, left leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, let's step back, high plank. And inhale here, exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Breathe in, baby cobra, slide forward. Exhale to lower the chest down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale to lower. Last one. Exhale to lower, tuck your toes, come into downward facing dog. Now let's take three more breaths here in our downward facing dog. Also using this as a stretch, trying to stretch your spine, stretch the backs of your legs, relax the muscles around your shoulders and neck. And on your next inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Let's walk both hands to the right for Prasarita. I'm going to turn around. Deep breath in, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale with a flat back, rise up, star pose. Exhale, let's interlace the hands behind your lower back. Breathe in to open up the chest. Exhale to fold. And hold for five. On your next inhale, let's release the bind, rise up, star pose. Exhale, interlace the opposite pinky on top. Breathe in to open up the chest. Exhale to fold once again and hold for five more breaths. On your next inhale, release the bind, rise up, star pose. Let's face the front of the mat, right foot steps forward to meet the left mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up, high mountain. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the left foot steps way back. Let's plant the hands, pick up the right foot, and then tap the right knee down to the mat for three, two, one. Let's drop the right knee down for pigeon pose, slide your left leg back. Inhale to lift the chest, and then let's lower the forehead down to the mat for four. Three. Two. And then one, let's use the hands as a pillow coming into your pigeon pose. And on your next inhale, let's slowly lift the chest. And then we're going to lean into the right hip, left leg swings around, plant the left foot, come into standing splits, 
Right leg reaches up in the air. And on your next exhale, step the right foot way back, plant the hand, step the left foot back. Let's come into knees, chest, chin. So maybe knees first and then chest and chin or all three at the same time. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale to release. Now we're going to make our way onto our forearms. Okay, so like a sphinx pose. And we're just going to take a few breaths here in sphinx. So pulling the mat towards you with your elbows, pressing into the mat, lifting the chest, looking forward. Right, and then from here, let's bend the right knee. Left hand can kind of cross over, so it's pointing towards the right side of your mat. Right hand reaches back for the left foot, and then gently pull the right foot towards you. Now you can either stay here in the wrist crease or in the elbow crease, or if you're pretty flexible in this, in your knee joint, you can hold the top of the foot and then flip the bind so the fingers are pointing towards the top of the mat. And this is not necessary. You just do whatever you need to do to feel a stretch. So if you feel a stretch with the elbow crease of the hand, that is fantastic. slowly release and then we're going to take the opposite side right hand comes down on the mat left arm reaches back for the left foot and then gently pull the left foot closer left heel closer to left glute and remember to keep pushing out of your right shoulder no slouching Let's slowly release. Now we're going to stay on the forearms. Let's tuck the toes, lift the hips, forearm plank. Right hand points towards the left side. Let's come onto the outer blade of the right foot. Left foot steps behind your right leg for wild thing on your forearm. And then let's slowly come back through center. Left elbow comes down. Right foot steps behind the left leg for wild thing on your left forearm. And right forearm comes down. And then from here, let's drop the knees, pull back child's pose. Three deep breaths here. Let's reach forward through the fingertips and then let's walk both hands over to the right side stretch. On your next inhale, let's walk the hands back through center and then over to the left. time let's come back through center this time we're going to slide left arm underneath the right shoulder stretching out that left shoulder blade breathe deeply into it and then on your next inhale come back to child's pose and switch right arm reaches underneath the left shoulder and this is a pose that you can deepen very subtly by sending the breath into the right side body. So thinking of the right side of your chest, your right shoulder blades, and imagining you're sending the breath to that space. Now let's come back through center child's pose. And then we're going to ripple forward high cobra. And dropping the hips and then one vertebra at a time, opening up the heart. Exhale, one vertebra at a time to pull back. Inhale, rounding the spine, rippling forward, high cobra. Exhale to go all the way back to child's pose. 
One more time, breathe in. Now let's tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Add small steps, we're going to walk all the way up to the top of the mat. Hutter as far as you can get. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees slowly as possible. Let's come all the way down to the floor. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. You can move away from your heels if need be. And let's reach as far as possible. So squeezing navel in, reaching. You can look down towards your toes for five, four, three, two, and one, release. You can hold onto your feet with both of your hands. Chin can come into the chest if that feels good. slowly roll out. Either you keep your knees as they are or you can bring them together. As slowly as you can, let's come all the way down to the back for five, four, and make sure you have your blocks nearby. Three, two, and one. All right, let's bring the knees together. Now the blocks, we're going to place them underneath the back. So you can go ahead and place maybe one block like that, and then the other one on the highest level, so the back of your head would be on the tall one, and then behind the rib cage would be on the small one. You can also have them both side by side, but mine aren't the same height, so it's not ideal. Maybe like that if you wanna go a little bit lower, one on the lowest level, one on the second level. So you just take your time to figure out a position that feels good, and the sit bones stay on the mat. So you wanna have the block pretty much behind your bra line. So behind the rib cage, and then the head on the taller block. It might take a little bit of adjusting. You wanna make sure that your block underneath your back is not digging into your shoulder blades, so make sure it's not too high or not too low. And just play around with what feels good. If you want to open up the throat, you can also have the other block a little bit lower. And then once you've found your position, the arms can extend out by your sides, or hands can stay on your back, or even above your head, and your legs can stay in this butterfly position. So soles the feet together, knees wide apart. And let's just close the eyes. And breathing into the openness of the front body, resting, relaxing your whole body weight on the blocks with each breath out. Start to notice if you feel any tingling in your fingertips, in the palms of your hands. And for the next few moments and for the whole practice, but especially now as we near the end, try to stay fully present with yourself. Yoga is as much of an exercise for the body as it is for your mind.
stay here for another five deep breaths. And slowly bring your legs together and then be very gentle as you roll over to one side removing the blocks from underneath your body and then let's lie completely flat extending the legs out in front of us or staying in constructive rest if you have any pain or discomfort in your lower back and arms relax by your sides Notice the after effects of the previous shape in the body, feeling the flatness of your back, the length of your spine, the length of your legs, and the length of your whole body. Noticing the space that you're taking up and noticing all the different sensations in the body under the surface of the skin. And being fully present here as you rest. As you allow your body to heal, to regenerate itself, to absorb all the benefits of the practice that we just did. Keep scanning your body, looking for any residual tension. And each time you find tension in the body, actively let it go. Softening the muscles around your eyes, your forehead, the muscles around your jaw, the fingertips, the toes, and anywhere else you find tension. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you want to. Trying not to speak too loud in case you're still there. I just wanted to say thank you for practicing with me today. It means the world. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it made you feel good. And I hope to see you next week. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening or day or whatever other time there is and if you're not subscribed already please consider doing so and i always appreciate your feedback all right i'm gonna go bye bye thank you so much bye